Welcome back, this is Yama Jack on Containment Station, Gunslinger Suicidal. I like this map. Quite a, quite a bit, actually. I don't remember what my thoughts were on it the first time we played it, but these days, it's quite a good map. It's a nice little map. It's an enjoyable thing. You know, I, uh, I watch Pathfinder on YouTube. Not really that much, but, um... I do, I do watch Pathfinder. The odd, the odd video. Killing Floor 2 is apparently free on... Uh, is it still? I don't know. Probably not by the time this video goes live, <laughs> anyway. So I'm not going to get your hopes up. Um, but it was li it was free on the Epic Store, so... Um, Pathfinder put up a video on that, and I watched it just a little bit to see uh, what that was about. And then I could recommend it to my friends and, and whatnot. Because when I looked on the Epic Store, it was not free, but... His video said that it was free, so I figured maybe he had information I don't. And, uh, turns out it just wasn't free until I looked, until, uh, something else. Maybe there was a, like, uh, announcement post saying it was gonna be free or something. I don't know. Anyway, in his, uh, in his video comments, quite often, there's, there's people saying, like, well, yeah, you're the only active YouTuber you have on Killing Floor 2. You're the only one. Why can't Tripwire, like, um, you're the only, like, they'll, they'll, they'll say, like, you're the only active YouTuber for this dead game. Why can't Tripwire, like, you know, reward you for your, your consistency and your loyalty and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know, he's not the only YouTuber. You just don't watch other ones. Like, even besides me, there are other YouTubers besides uh, Pathfinder and I that still make videos on Killing Floor 2. They just, they don't look for it, and then his comments are flooded with people saying that he's the only YouTuber left, and I'm just like, ouch. <laughs> that hurts me deep inside. I feel betrayed and ignored and hurt. I mean, not really, but it does, it does kind of, it kind of stings a little bit, you know, when, when people are like, yeah, Pathfinder, the only Killing Floor 2 YouTuber. I'm like... But... But what about... But but what about... What about me? I make videos. I make a lot of videos. I mean, I make I make the most videos. And uh, just kind of... It feels bad. And I'm like... Okay. The right thing to do here is not to tell them that I make YouTube videos. That is... That is being rude and disrespectful and it's probably not going to get me the kind of viewership that I would want anyway but I so so badly and it's not even for like advertising purposes but just like you're wrong <laughs> your, your statement is just wrong it's like uh, you know what they say like the easiest way to get an answer on the internet is to say the wrong answer because people just get mad at you for being wrong and that's kind of what it is for me right it's not even about the, the advertising myself or anything like that it's just they're wrong and I just want to tell them that they're wrong so I just tell them that they're wrong and then I don't know I figure you know if they ask hey what what other youtubers are there that make killing for two content if they care enough to ask then then I will I will respond with a list of killing for two youtubers of which I am one of them um, but they never do because they don't care right they're, they're they don't really care about there being more killing for two youtubers they just care about Killing Floor 2 being a dead game. And, uh, that's another thing that kind of gets me. I've, I've, I've ranted about it a few times. Um, but, people get, people are so negative about this game. It's incredible how negative people are about this game. People are negative about, like, so many games, too. Like, RuneScape 3 is another game that I play, and people are so negative in that game, too. And it's just, I don't like when people are negative about the game that they're playing. You know, especially, it's Especially Killing for 2, because people are so unreasonably negative about it. It just, it, it gets on my nerves so badly. Because they'll, they'll talk about it being a dead game, and you know, you guys need to do something to fix this, or your player base is going to die off, and I'm like... But... <laughs> they don't, you don't, you're not paying them, so they don't, they don't care if you stop playing. You're not, you, you've already bought it. Whether you play it or you don't doesn't doesn't matter. It's not like you're paying every month for for a subscription to their their servers. Like you you bought the game, 
you, you own it. You, whether you play it or not, it's, it's not really important. Like, it's an old game at this point. Like, it would, they would be, it would be in their best interest to pretty much just drop support. Like, that we get anything, even if it's reasonably low con like quality stuff, is, is honestly impressive. Um, so, I don't know. People just get so negative about it, it just annoys me. Because they'll, it'll be, it'll be, it's always, you know, the people who are complaining about it are always the people with, like, 2,000 hours in it or whatever, because they've done everything the game has to offer at that point, and they're like, I want more, right? That's, that's when you need more, because you've got easily a 1,000 hours of content in Killing Floor 2, just being even conservative there, you've got easily, easily a 1,000 hours of content in Killing Floor 2 with, with all of the different perks that you can level up and play around with and then prestige and and whatnot like there's there's easily over over a thousand hours of content in killing for two and uh so when people are complaining about there not being enough content you know that they've got at, at the very least several hundreds of hours and it's it's honestly quite likely that they're over a thousand hours right and you just you look at the the um, the uh, the value proposition there. You look at you look at the value of it, right? And you've got a thousand hours in a game. You paid thirty bucks for. That's that's like thirty hours per dollar that you spend. Like just just that is an insane amount of value out of it. Let's see if you didn't even get it on sale. And uh, it's just, it's an insane amount of value. And people still get so mad about it. Like, they, 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 they're they entitled to more content because they paid $30 five years ago. <laughs> like, you're really, you're really not entitled to anything. You, you paid $30 five years ago. If you got no updates from then, that would have... That would have been them fulfilling their their responsibility to you, you know? I don't know, it's just it's so annoying when people are so negative about the games that they play. And it happens in every in every 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 community, right? You got any pick any game, go to their subreddit, and there's gonna be people like I pay so much money for this game, blah 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 blah. You can't even give me content, you can't fix these bugs, blah 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 blah. It's like well, like, chill? I don't know. People just people just can't chill and just have fun anymore. You know? It's, uh, it's disappointing. But uh, Killing Floor 2 is definitely the one where it really gets me. Because people get so passionate about how bad the game is. And then they continue to play it. I'm like, okay, is it a bad game or isn't it a bad game? Do you hate it or do you not hate it? Is it a good value or is it not a good value? If you're still playing it with a thousand hours in it, I would say yes, you can recommend this as a game that people should buy. Yeah, if you were like, oh no, no, it's not worth buying, don't buy it, don't waste your money on this piece of garbage, it's a dead game, blah 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 blah. Then they're still playing it when they have a thousand hours in it. I'm like, that's pretty good value. I would I would recommend it. <laughs> it's fun. Sure, you don't have too many new maps, but, like, who cares? Who cares? The, the people who haven't played it haven't played the maps that already exist, and there's quite a lot of content in the game. I don't know. It's, it really, really gets on my nerves. And then I get downvoted. Always. You know, people always get mad at me for, for arguing in favor of Killing Floor 2 that, yeah, it's still a fun game, and if you played it for 2,000 hours, and you paid 30 bucks for it, I would say you got your money's worth. And then people were like, uh, no, actually. I deserve more than that. You really don't. You really don't. You got a reasonable, you got a, a very reasonable amount of, uh, of playtime out of your, out of, out of the money that you spent on it. You know, if they had a subscription service, you had to pay money to use their service. You know, like, at that point, yeah. Complain about, uh, there not being updates, because you're paying money constantly. But you aren't. 
that's that's not what's happening. So it's just I don't know. It, it, it gets on my nerves. Really, really gets my nerves. We're getting another King Flesh Pound, by the way. Why? I don't know. It's the only boss that exists today. Oh well. Oh, that's that's the wrong button. Cause I got a G E G E G E. I don't know why it hits E, but it does hit E. I might have needed it for something. I made it a while back, and then uh, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you're gonna say it, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.